It feels so incredibly late right now, but it's 5.04. I just got home from work like 15 minutes ago, and I feel like I'm ready for bed. God, I hate daylight savings time. I really like that song. It's Monday, so that means that yesterday was Walking Dead Day. I don't have a lot to say about this episode, it wasn't that good. It was really slow. I believe it was more meant to reintroduce us to Tara. If you're unaware of who Tara is or was, she was actually part of the governor's second coming. After Woodbury was defeated and the governor was kind of out on his own, he grew that shaggy beard, he ran into the small family of a mother, a daughter, and a sister. He told them his name was Brian. Now, he kind of had a thing with the mother, but the sister, that was Tara. She kind of came on board then, right around when they found that other community where the two brothers were running it and they had the tank. Brian killed the one brother by drowning him. That's kind of where Tara came on board. When they attacked the prison with the tank, and she kind of saw really what Brian was when Brian really became the governor again. She she really, that's kind of when she turned and Glenn saved her and brought her on. And she became of Rick's group at that point. Glenn kind of pulled her out of there. They really needed each other to escape because there was walkers everywhere. In real life, uh, the actress's name is Alana Masterson or Masters Masterson. Let's, let's look that up. Alana Masterson. Well, she got pregnant, so they kind of wrote her off the show for a while so she can go and have the baby and recover. We last saw her um, going on a supply run with Heath. That's where they, that Heath was the, the other guy in the RV with her. That's kind of where they left off, right after Rick and his group attacked the Savior Satellite Station. <laughs> Her role in the show was diminishing at that point because she was pregnant. So she just had some minor roles. The one point where she got real sad at the end, um, the doctor, I can't remember her name, Denise, Diane, I think it was Denise, the one that got shot through the eye with the, the crossbow or I guess came through the back of her head and out her eye that took um, Abraham's comic book death. That was actually Tara's girlfriend. So she was upset because her girlfriend was killed. I don't think they're gonna bring that community back, even though they showed the cache of weapons and whatnot, because at the point when Rosita asked Tara if she had seen anything out there, any weapons at all, she doesn't care how dangerous it is, she would go get them, Tara said no, she didn't. And that was probably Tara's lowest point. She just lost her girlfriend, so given Tara's state of how distraught she was, and she still didn't tell Rosita about the 
cache of weapons at this other community, I don't think we're going to bring it back. I think it was more just, it was showing K Tara's character evolving. Even though she wasn't directly responsible to the um, killing of the saviors at the satellite station, she was all for what they did there. She thought it was for the greater good. <laughs> Please keep in mind that at this point, Tara does not know the scale of the saviors. She got a little bit of secondhand knowledge from Beatrice, I believe it was, but she still did. She hasn't seen it. She was gone out on a, a supply run with Heath when all of this happened with with uh, Rick's group trying to get to the hilltop to bring Maggie there for medical attention. She didn't see the scope of all of this. She wasn't in Alexandria when the saviors came and took everything and took all the weapons away. So her coming back, she still didn't even know that they don't have any weapons at all any, any longer. She's kind of progressing to realize that she has to make friends with people. She realized they can't just kill everyone. I believe Tara's comment was something along the lines of, you can't fight everyone because then all you'll have is enemies. I think she's realizing that there's other things you can do out there. Now, I already know that this is going to end in blows between Rick and Negan because... Honestly, well, I read the books, but honestly, if I hadn't, you could just, you could see. There's no reasonable solution to what's happening between the saviors and everyone else without fisticuffs. So you know there's gonna be coming to blows. So I think that most of this episode was just kind of to reintroduce Tara and just kind of show more of the dissension of the Alexandria group at the very end when Rosita still wants to attack. Tara kind of wants to attack, but she's distraught because she lost her girlfriend. So I think we're just reintroducing Tara after a long break and kind of recapping a little bit of what's going on in the world. All in all, it was a slow episode. Uh, they, they didn't really do too much. Again, I don't think they're going to bring back this other community at all. Maybe they will. Uh, I think it was just kind of a one-and-done thing with, with this other group. I think at some point, Rosita's going to start to get some weapons. She's going to hide them. And Eugene's going to start to manufacture bullets. So eventually, they're going to get stocked back up. I dig the show. I don't care about these slow episodes. A lot of people complained. I saw a lot of people online complaining about it. It was a slow episode. Don't bother watching it. But... Hey, you gotta get the backstory if you want to know what's going on in the show. They want us to relate to these people as if some if this ever happened, you know, these are real people. These are, you know, this is their story. This is their history. This is what they had to do. So they kind of want it to be relatable. And I dig it. I like the show. We'll see what happens next week. sweating to death and I'm out of breath. This is really hard. You don't get enough pop because there's no wheels. So you really, really got to put a lot of leg into it. Way more than usual. It's safer though because there's no wheels. So it's harder to primo. I'm dying. I'm sweating. It's dripping. I, whew, I didn't think I'd be sweating this much. If you like this or any of my other videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can like by giving me a thumbs up, and you can subscribe by hitting that big red button at the bottom of the screen or clicking on my floating head at the end of this video. Thank you.